guys, welcome to Mom Minutes. Today, I would like to talk a little bit about the benefits of homeschooling your high schooler. So we have 10 kids and I would say we have homeschooled through high school, almost, I think eight of them so far. And we have one right now that's in public high school. And we had another one a couple years ago that was also in public uh, high school. At the end of this video, I'm gonna have Samantha, who is our oldest, to come on and talk about um, what she liked about homeschooling, what she didn't like about homeschooling, and if she felt prepared for college. So Samantha and Josiah, our oldest two, were our first guinea pigs to homeschool through high school. And um, the reason that we decided to do that one was because we had been homeschooling them since they were in the second and third grade. And they already had their friend group set up through homeschooling. Um, they also had um, played sports, but they had just quit sports. Um, I think Samantha played through the ninth grade, uh, maybe even the 10th grade, but then in the 11th grade, she decided to um, stop playing sports so that she could get a job. So every year we would ask them as we do pretty much all of our kids, especially in high school, you know, what about next year? What do you guys think about homeschooling? Is there something else we need to look at? Um, and, you know, try to get their input into, um, you know, what they were thinking about for the next year and kind of to hear their goals and what they wanted to do with their, um, you know, their junior, senior year. So most of them said, probably except for two really, um, said, hey, I wanna homeschool because I have a good friend group. I already know what I'm doing. I'm gonna do dual credit. So, um, so that has worked for us. I will say we also live in a great community where there are a ton of homeschoolers. So we have a lot of options, which I will talk about those options and how you can homeschool your high schooler uh, easily um, in another video. So I don't want to make this one too long, but, um, so yes, so they decided when they were juniors and seniors that they wanted to get a job and, um, homeschooling, um, was going to help them be able to do that. They also wanted to do dual credit through our local community college. And, um, that is a great way to get your first year of college done. And um, so they both did that and our other kids have done that also. So basically what dual credit is, is you will take like an English class at your local community college and that also counts for your high school uh, transcript. So you get a credit for high school and a credit for college with one class. So another reason why our kids chose to homeschool through high school was because of the outside classes that they got to take. Um, we would um, basically send them out for all of their courses or almost all of their courses. Uh, if we couldn't do it, all their courses we did. So when I say send them to outside classes, what I mean is it's kind of like a co-op, but not. Um, a co-op is basically where you, um, you have people that, you know, teach your children, but then you also volunteer to teach a class. So this is more of a, like a one day school, really. So they would have say chemistry on Mondays and it would be like a two hour class and the teacher would teach them what they need to know for that week. And then she would assign them homework to complete until the next Monday. So our kids did those classes through high school. So right now my um, 10th grader has um, classes on Monday, on Tuesday and Thursdays. And they're all just, you know, little classes here and there, but um, she really enjoys those teachers because usually those teachers that teach those classes and they've done it for years, they love their, um, what they teach and they're teaching from tried and true curriculum. So we have really enjoyed that and it's usually very affordable, um, usually around $50 a month per class. So that's, you know, that's pretty affordable. It's kind of like a small Christian school tuition. Um, <clears throat> and it also gives our kids a chance to create community <clears throat> at the school. So they usually 
um, you know, are there pretty much for two to three hours or, or longer. And they can eat lunch there with their friends and hang out when they're not in class and that sort of thing. And so that's been a great experience. And our kids really enjoyed that. Um, one of the negative reasons why we did not want to, or why we did want to homeschool was because we do not, where we live, we do not really have a good option of a public school. Um, our son tried our local high school and it just did not go very well for multiple reasons. It wasn't all uh, because of the school. But anyways, it just was not a good option. We were not real thrilled with that. Um, right now, my daughter goes to a public charter school that um, she goes to school every day, but a lot of their curriculum is on the internet. So um, she's responsible to them. They keep her transcripts, her grades, and it's a, you know, an eight to three day. Um, but, um, and she, she likes it. Um, it. You have to have a, be a special type of student to be able to really succeed there. One of the benefits of that school is that um, since it is, the campus is on the, um, on the grounds of our local community college, they can also do, do dual credit through that school and it's totally free. So she doesn't have to pay for her books for her dual credit classes or for the credit hours. Um, so again, it, for her, it is working right now. And I know for many kids it has worked. Um, our, we did have another daughter there and we pulled her out because it just was, um, it just was not working the way it should for her. So, and she asked to be homeschooled. So you know, one thing that we haven't really mentioned is that um, the, one of the great benefits of homeschooling is that you can still just really pour into them um, about worldview and um, you know how to defend their faith. I will say pour into them, but also give them opportunities to um, you know, rub up against people that are not believers in the world. And usually that happens, at least in our house, um, when they get a job. So my kids, um, you know, we poured into them about worldview, about how to defend their faith, taught them, you know, what they believe. And um, then they went and got jobs when they turned 16. And so, um, you know, they got to see a lot of just real life when they went to work at different restaurants. I'm glad that they had those opportunities while they were still at home because we got to talk to them about, um, you know, what to do if one of their friends was being abused um, by their boyfriend and, you know, just how to keep yourself safe, but how to help out um, where when you can. And um, so there are a lot of good life lessons that they got to learn while they were still at home um, working. So I hope that this has been an encouragement to you if you are considering homeschooling or if you are already homeschooling your high schooler. Um, I, my next video will be on how to homeschool your high schooler and just giving you some just uh, thoughts about the possibilities and the availability of different programs that can be useful to you and your child. So stay tuned for Samantha's thoughts on her homeschooling experience. Have a good night. I think the thing I liked most about homeschooling in high school was just the flexibility. We were able to do so much in one day. Um, my brother and I both worked um, a lot. We helped lead worship at our church. We um, were super involved in our youth group. Um, we took college classes. We were able to get um, about a year and a half worth of college done in high school. And it, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be just because I had a lot of extra time. Um, just And I had the freedom to plan my schedule around what I thought was important. And uh, it was really great having that freedom. And then, let's see, what I missed out. Uh, did I miss out on anything? I don't really think so. No, I pretty I really loved being homeschooled in high school. Um, Cause we even did dances and all that stuff. I mean, they were pretty cheesy, but you know that's okay. Sometimes cheesy is good. Um, no, I loved being homeschooled in high school, and then I definitely felt prepared for college because I'd been doing college classes since I was 16. So when I got to college, it was a super easy transition. Um, I was already used to planning out my day around my schoolwork while um, 
having a, a part-time job slash full-time job in college and doing extracurricular activities on that. So the time management portion had already been um, kind of, just, it was already natural. I'd already been doing it since I was 16. And um, the great thing is I, I've always been a person who crams a lot into a little bit of time. But um, what I love about homeschooling is it works for people who need more time. Um, as well. So if I wasn't able to cram all of that in, I would have just had a lot more time to get stuff done, to just focus on school. Um, and then if I have extra time, put extra stuff on top of that. So I loved being homeschooled. I wouldn't have changed it at all. It was fantastic.